Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you part two of three on how to configure the ArcServe UDP agent settings for file copy settings. CA ArcServe UDP agent for Windows lets you copy selected source files from a backup session to a destination, whether it's a disk or cloud, based upon your specified file copy and retention criteria. File copy can be used for copying critical data to secondary locations and can also be used as an archiving solution. File copy allows you to safely and securely delete the source data after it's been copied to an off-site or secondary storage repository. Now before you perform your first file copy job, you'll need to specify the file copy settings and plans. So let's click the settings link on the CA ArcServe UDP agent homepage. The protection settings screen opens by default. These backup settings are covered in part one of this video series. So let's go ahead and click file copy settings. These configurations allow you to specify behaviors such as the source of your file copy data, destination for your copied files, and the schedule for each file copy job. These settings can be modified at any time from the CA ArcServe UDP agent homepage. Okay, so let's get started. Click Source and check the Enable File Copy option. If this option is disabled or not checked, the No Scheduled File Copying is performed and any changes to the file copy settings are not validated and saved. With Enable File Copy checked, you get the following pop-up message. When you enable the file copy, then you're required to enable the File System Catalog Generation option in the Advanced Backup Settings. This helps reduce your wait time if your browse time is too slow, especially if the ArcServe UDP agent destination is over a WAN or if your restore by search time is too slow. So let's go ahead and click Yes. Next, choose a file copy source from the list or add a new source. In this case, we'll add one. Select the type of file copy job to be performed for this new source. File copy is like a copy and paste operation. The original file is retained at the source location and a copy is added to the destination. This option provides multiple stored versions. File copy delete source is like a cut and paste operation. The original file is deleted from the source location and moved to the destination. This option provides more available free space at the source. Let's choose the file copy option and click OK. The file copy plans dialog opens. Browse to the folder where the source is stored. For example, My Documents, and then specify and limit what is being copied from the Source Filters section. Click Add to add the filters to the list, then click OK. And then click Save Settings and your file copy source settings are now saved. Let's move on to Destination. Choose a destination where the file will be copied to. You can choose a local or network drive or a cloud location. Let's choose File Copy to Cloud as our destination and configure the cloud options. ArcServe UDP Agent currently supports file copying to multiple cloud vendors, such as Amazon S3, Windows Azure, Fujitsu Cloud, and Eucalyptus Walrus. These cloud vendors are publicly available web services, which let you safely and securely store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. Select your cloud vendor type. Make sure that your computer time is synchronized to Greenwich Mean Time within 5 to 10 minutes or your cloud connection may not work. Depending on the vendor type you select, you may need to provide the URL address of the cloud provider as well as appropriate credentials. To enable a proxy for internet connections, check the Enable Proxy option and include the IP address or machine name of the proxy server and the corresponding port number. You can also select this option if your proxy server requires authentication. You then must provide the corresponding authentication information that's required to use the proxy server. Proxy capability is not available for Eucalyptus Walrus. Provide the bucket name and region for the bucket that will store your data. These buckets or containers are used to group and organize objects together. Every object stored at the cloud vendor is placed in a bucket or container. For this field, when selecting Amazon S3 
or Eucalyptus walrus, bucket name is used. When selecting Windows Azure or Fujitsu Cloud, container is used. When you're finished, click Test Connection to verify the connection and then click OK to return to the file copy destination screen. Next, specify the type of compression you'll be using on your destination. Compression decreases your storage space at the file copy destination, but can increase CPU usage, which will slow down your file copy speed. You can select one of the following options. No compression, which is the lowest CPU usage and the fastest speed, and also has the largest storage space requirement for your file copy. Then you have standard compression, which has a good balance between CPU usage and storage space requirement. This is the default setting. Or then there's maximum compression, which has the highest CPU usage and the lowest speed and the lowest storage space requirement for your file copy. You can also enable encryption to further protect your file copies. The retention time setting only applies if you selected to add the file copy delete source plan from the file copy source settings. This field lets you specify the amount of time that the copy data is retained at the destination. At the end of the specify retention time, the stored data is purged from that destination. The file version setting only applies if you selected to add the file copy plan from the file copy source settings. This field lets you specify how many copies are stored at the destination. After this number is exceeded, the earliest or oldest version will be discarded. In this case, we chose the file copy plan, so we need to enter the number of copies that should always be kept on the destination. By default, 15 is the number of copies retained at the destination location before discarding the older versions. Now let's click Save Settings. Finally, click Schedule. The number you enter here is the number of successful, full, incremental, or verify backups that must be performed before a file copy job is run. By default, the schedule for file copying is after every five successful backups are completed. Now save your settings, and your critical source files are now automatically copied to the destination according to the file copy settings you specified. That's it. Thanks for watching. This concludes our video for part two of three of the UDP agent settings. To continue to part three, please look for the how to configure ArcServe UDP agent for Windows settings, part three of three, copy recovery points and preferences video. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.